Okay, we're here to talk about hair loss. What causes it? First of all, hair loss is a huge problem in the entire world today, and it's getting to be a bigger problem if that's possible. What causes it? The number one cause of hair loss is low adrenal gland function. The adrenal glands sit on top of the kidneys and in today's world with everybody being so exhausted, so depleted, not all stressed out, not getting enough sleep, and being toxic, what happens is your adrenal gland function just is depleted. And so what do you do about that? For starters, uh, and the number one thing to remember is before you treat anything other than vitamin D and omega-3s, the first thing you treat after that is the adrenal gland function. Because when you treat the adrenal glands, not only does ultimately your hair loss get better, and it usually takes about a month before your hair loss starts to get better when you start to treat the adrenals, uh, but what happens is uh, you feel better, your sleep is better, but you've got to treat the adrenal glands first. So. Um, the adrenal glands, how do you treat them? First of all, on the website, there's the, under critical info, there's a symptom sheet for adrenal depletion. So look at that, figure out how bad you are basically, uh, and then what do you do about it? Also on the website, under the supplementation uh, aspect, and I've got it all prioritized for you and why you take it and what you take and what it does. The number one thing you do for the adrenals, look, for anything, the first thing you do is you do vitamin D and get a therapeutic vitamin D level. The number two thing you do is you take omega-3s in a therapeutic dosage. People are always telling me, oh, I take omega-3s, but they're not taking enough to make any difference. So with any supplement, you have got to take the right dosage. So number three after vitamin D and omega-3s in the correct dosage is vitamin B5, which is a vitamin that's known to support, to enhance your adrenal function. And then the other thing is never going to be enough, but it also helps with constipation as well because it helps with peristalsis. But the next thing, and you have to do it at the same time, beside vitamin B5, is lycrointrinsic. Lycrointrinsic is feeding your adrenals what they need to restore them because the first thing you always do is try to make your adrenal gland function work better, okay? So the third thing is if it's not enough and it's all defined how to do it on the website is you then add adrenal life force which is uh, replenishing basically, okay? So how do you know it's working? Well, number one, if your adrenals are depleted, you're exhausted in the morning when you get up, no matter how much sleep you've had. And that means they're really bad. Uh, the other thing is that uh, sometimes you're fine in the morning, but in the afternoon, you start to really want to kill for a nap. You need a cup of coffee, a cup of tea. Uh, that's your adrenals first. Can be your thyroid as well, but number one is you always treat the adrenals first. And um, the other thing is, how do you know it's working too? Not only does your hair get better, but the other thing is you start to feel more energetic, but it's a balanced energy. It's like I took a great nap energy. It's like I took a deep breath because when your adrenals are depleted, you also don't handle stress well. So everything stresses you out even more. So the other thing that tells you that your adrenals are all askew is if you're exhausted during the day, but then you start to rev up as the late afternoon and early evening go on, and then you're all revved up for the late evening, you don't want to go to sleep, and that means your circadian rhythms are askew, and that all starts with your adrenals. So, number one cause of hair loss is adrenal. Number two cause, and if the adrenals don't make you all better with your energy, is thyroid, okay? So what do you do about that? Well, first you have to treat the adrenals, again, vitamin D and omega-3s, but uh, what you have to do then is take some laminaria or iodizyme because again, that's replenishing your thyroid function. Thyroid uses iodine to make uh, thyroid hormone. Uh, omega-3s help transport the thyroid into the cell. And so you can take thyroid, but it has to get into the cell, the nucleus of the cell, which is why I have all those remedies on there as well, because if it doesn't get into the cell, it's just circulating in your blood and it's not getting into the factory basically to do what it's supposed to do. 
So if the adrenals don't make your hair better, then it's the thyroid. So there's your iodine, your laminaria, and then my thyroid support, which is all on the website. And there's also all the symptoms of low thyroid that are on the website as well under critical info. Last but not least, in women, the cause of hair loss can be low estradiol. So that's when you're menopausal. Uh, if your estrogen is really low and you're very estrogen sensitive, then estradiol. So you've got to see your doctor about that to get the pres pres prescription strength ones. Uh, I recommend cream. You should never take pill estradiol. You should only take bioidentical. Uh, and so too little estradiol, and it's like icing the cake, too little estradiol and your hair is not, you've got hair loss, but to a lesser extent. So fix your adrenals, fix your thyroid, then uh, that generally in the vast majority of people fixes everything. And then for men, understand that your adrenals and your thyroid can be a cause of hair loss as well. Then comes testosterone and uh, then comes genetics with men. So hair loss, uh, adrenals, thyroid, hormones.